Are Death Shrieker rocket launchers any good? Yes, it's an easy yes. However, it's going to take a lot more detail to make a good video. So let's start with a bang. This is what demolition rockets do to fortify targets during a siege. The regular multiple rocket warheads do no damage to structures whatsoever. These rockets are armor-piercing and anti-large, so the alternate fire is often the only way to help focus down big single entities with this weapon system. Also, unlike the other mode, there is no minimum range. Call France on Death Claw can be 10 feet away and the rocket will still fire and still hit. I didn't realize this until testing for the making of this video. Both firing modes have very high arcs. The on paper firing frequency won't be as much in reality because the next rocket only fires after the existing one reaches its target, which takes a while at maximum range. On modified that range is 420, which is very decent but not truly exceptional. Mainly, you're getting a different flavor of the mag mechanic. Instead of a low firing arc, this one is ludicrously high and laughs off most obstacles. Firing from behind a hill or a mountain can be shockingly effective in the right situation. The regular rockets are a good deal less accurate than the magma cannon, and even that wasn't perfect. Basically it's down to luck if you get a good solid hit on a unit. And I say a unit because single entities or monstrous infantry will not be hurt too badly on average. However, the rockets are geared towards chewing up armor. They will effectively soften up something like Chaos Warriors, but the high HP of the unit still makes them tough. But at least you don't have to worry about shield deflection. The inaccuracy and the minimum range makes these rockets difficult to use once the lines clash. Often, I just try to devote my artillery to hitting missile units, if any, like I used to do with screaming skull catapults just to avoid friendly fire. Oh, did I mention the rockets are all flame damage and are affected by Kindle Flame, Weakness to Fire, and so on and so forth. This is what I consider my ideal scenario. Great Taurus units in addition to your Lord, tanking and creating blobs around them. As single entities, they'd be fairly unscathed regardless, but the Great Taurus units are very resistant to fire anyway. Friendly fire, quote-unquote, is welcome to them. Reality may be less appealing, but at least know this is a possibility, an ideal use of the unit. And even though they're anti-armor, a lucky hit will devastate a unit with low to medium armor regardless. At least in campaign, you can bring them into seizure. The only problem I had was that those Cathay maps are gigantic. The slow speed of the unit means 420 range doesn't feel like enough, but for a two-turn, locally recruited unit, they are the kings of sieges, and in battle, almost always have some use. So yes, they're good. Please like, subscribe, and consider donating to my coffee account, because I need your support. Thank you very much.